Isn't it pretty remarkable that this castle still looks absolutely new? It's actually modern. But the fact that it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site means that it, it lives up to certain standards. It's not like they don't try to make it new. They do try to preserve it in the best way possible. Amazing. So look at this. This is an octagon, eight sides. Do you see it? It's just a flower. There's no crests of lions, eagles, just flowers everywhere. Okay, so we're going through like the different rooms and then now we're going to go up to the second floor. So if you take a look at the steps, the majority or the good side is on the right side, which technically it should be on the left if this was really a military fortress. Okay, so we're here on the second floor and take a look at this room. We're assuming that perhaps this was like a spa. This is for the women, and on the other side is for the men. Now, why would we say that? Because there are seats right here. So imagine they're sitting out. Oh, that feels good. And then there's steam coming out, and you know, they're chilling. And it's usually in these steam baths, these Roman baths, uh, Turkish baths, that a lot of deals are like business meetings of sorts. Kind of like the golf course, <laughs> a modern day conference room. Um, this is where they would do it. So this is the place for the men. Sorry guys, I just went up those stairs. Now just imagine, now back in the day, there, of course there were a lot of parties and celebrating and a lot of guests. So imagine that all of that filled up these rooms. This is the bedroom. So this is the fireplace. Goes all the way to the top. Okay, so the stairs, well, at least when we are going up, if you're facing like this way and it's up the stairs, usually everyone is like right-handed and you would know that it's a military fortress because the hands would have to be free so they can do this as they're going up the stairs. But unfortunately, or not unfortunately, but, but strangely enough, it's actually the opposite when you're going up the stairs here. So, which would imply that this was not really a military fortress. In fact, it's a bit of a mystery until now as to why King Frederick actually built this, since he built 55 castles just in Puglia alone. This is the very last one. And perhaps it was a vacation house, just for chilling, <laughs> just to get away. going against her. In fact, the room that he had built 